I'm your neighborhood reporter Russell Shelberg here in DeWitt, where Monday night a meeting was held to discuss problems within the district, but a controversial one being pronouns within the classroom. When I was growing up, sex education was a male and female. Now we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Members from DeWitt and outside the community came to speak their minds on an issue that sparked wide debate. A letter for an optional pronoun lesson that was sent to parents of DeWitt's elementary school which after significant backlash was canceled soon after. My first takeaway was that kids that age are going to be confused by this and also it's just not appropriate to be talking about a sexualized issue with seven-year-olds. But others spoke from a different view. Resident Jana Rowan shared that her mindset shifted over the years during her son's transition. It took you know an awful awful situation to happen for me to figure out what I was doing wasn't working. And then I realized at that point it's not about me. It's not about what I feel. It's not about what I think. It's not about my old-fashioned ways. It's about keeping my kid alive, literally. And that's what we need to teach as a school, you know, as, as a school district, as the world. As the meeting came to an end, Superintendent Shauna Spicker closed with the district's mission going forward. Our mission is providing the tools and environment for all learners to succeed. And our core values talk about uniqueness and inclusivity. Our mission and theme for this year is You Matter. Those in support gave applause to the statement and said they hope for inclusivity going forward. In your neighborhood, I'm Russell Shelberg, Fox 47 News.